Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Don Channel. We're here on Hollywood Boulevard about to make a right turn and go westbound on there's another little mini bike, little mini pocket bike with a couple of kids on it. That's scary. And then you've got uh, westbound here on Charleston at the very far east end of town, just west of Hollywood now, for our friends following along at home on your preferred map app. Temperature outside right now is about 97 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, very hazy day out there. You can barely see the uh, buildings down there on the strip in the distance. Thanks, California. But it makes me glad that I went out and ran out and got my car fixed so that I could pass emissions, right? So that it's not Vegas people contributing to the poor air quality or something like that. Here at the line at Treeline Drive, which runs between here and Sahara Avenue, another major east-west artery. We'll wait for our turn here. And we got the green light, so we'll proceed westbound here. You see a lot of open lots, desert land over here on uh, East Charleston. Some of them are zoned commercial, some of them are zoned residential. And there is also a pretty vibrant and robust horse community north of here, in the uh, neighborhoods north of here. So those folks tend to uh, like the larger plots of land, of course, so they can have a barn for their horses, stables for their horses. Auto zone here, there is the former flea market here at Charleston and Sloan that did not survive. When they're closing flea markets, things aren't going well. That's my humble opinion. Brings us up here to the light at Christie. We have a lot of videos of our time up and down Christie Lane here on the east side of town. Feel free to check those out in our library. Church over here on our left. Prince of Peace Catholic. And then you got a shopping center up here on the right with a Kohl's and a Target. I think there's a dollar store in there too. Somewhere. Scrubs and Beyond. As well as a Bourbon Street uh, sports bar and grill, but that's a gaming hall, right? So you go in there and play your video poker, etc. And uh, hang out for that. We're going to wait here. This is the light here at Nellis, a major north south artery here in Las Vegas. Runs all the way from Russell Road all the way up to Craig Road here on the east side of Las Vegas. And we got the green light here at Nellis. We'll proceed westbound here on Charleston. Another shopping center over here on our right. You've got Charleston Common Shopping Center, which has a uh, Burlington Coat Factory, 99 cent only store. I'm not sure how long that'll be here. PetSmart, Ross Dress for Less, UMC Quick Care. UMC stands for University Medical Center. For those out of the area that are not, not familiar with it. You see these uh, pedestrian gates here in the middle of the media. Look at that. Like how dirty that thing gets from all the road grease and oil and whatever getting spit up from the road. Now they have the identical looking thing down on the strip, but they're green, right? So they don't show the dirt. But the ones over here on Charleston, they are definitely showing the dirt. And I just not a fan of it. I understand they want to keep pedestrians from jumping jumping across the street, a busy highway, but or thorough thoroughfare here. But there's another indoor swap meet here on the east side of town. Charleston indoor swap meet here next to Fitness Factory. As we approach the light here at Lamb Boulevard, another major north-south artery here on the east side of town. Traveling all the way from Desert Inn. Oh boy, now we've got a semi blocking the uh, the roadway up here. Uncertain why he decided. This is a choke point right here, right? Because you have the highway up here, US Highway 95 slash US Highway 93 slash Interstate 11 slash Interstate 515 that uh, all curve to the west. 
right here just after the exit at Charleston, so a lot of traffic gets off here at the Charleston exit and heads over here to Lamb in order to keep going northbound to their destination. And you can see the traffic in the turn lane there on the other side. This is this is pretty mild compared to what it usually is, and they just expanded them. You can see the lanes there. They're backed all the way up to here, the very edge of them. We just passed a big five sporting goods. There's a Bank of America location. Looks like it's boarded up and it's got plywood on it. I guess someone broke in there thinking maybe they left some money behind. Not likely. El Pollo Loco, a fast chicken place over here on the left. There was a Pep Boys right next door to it, but that has since closed. So this is the aforementioned interchange with US 93 slash US 95 slash Interstate 11 as we continue westbound here on Charleston Boulevard and get nailed by the opposite side lights for the uh, traffic exiting southbound here and we'll wait our turn. Got the green light here at the uh, exit ramp only to travel, what is this, 200, 300 feet to a red light here at Honolulu. These are the uh, Hawaiian themed named streets just east of that interchange. It becomes Sand Hill actually south of here, but it's Honolulu on this side, the north side of Charleston, and then Sand Hill on the south side. You can see some ads over there and uh, more vacant land. This AMPM here, they have a lot of issues with uh, the unhoused homeless population that likes to camp out here at this interchange. And again, it's a very busy interchange, so. They are very active in looking for contributions from motorists. We got the green light finally, passing the Arco slash AMPM there on the right. And this is an older section of town for sure, especially uh, east of the, let's just call it the interstate at this point. DG Market. I'm not sure what kind of market that is. I've never been in there. And then you have a Circle K over here where regular unleaded cash price is $3.59 a gallon. $3.59. So the conversion for our international friends, I believe it's 3.8 liters in a gallon. So almost 4 liters for $3.59. $3.59. Palm Pizza over here on our left. Palm Market. This is Picos Road, which becomes Palm Street south of here, and then you have a bunch of litter on that fence from junk political ads who will do absolutely nothing for anyone but their campaign contributors. Someone's selling food there out of the back of their truck or van. Some mom and pop auto part or auto dealerships there. Another 7-Eleven. Shout out to 7-Eleven, man. A pillar of our community here. 166 7-Elevens here in the Las Vegas community. Greater Las Vegas. They're everywhere. Come up here to Lowe's where they have a lot of issues with crime, or at least calls for service. Let's not call it crime. Because... I don't want, uh, I'm not out to offend anyone. Calls for service. Family dollar store over here. Kind of lonely out here and there's nothing else around it, really. And then that brings us up here to Fremont Street. Which heads off to the northwest there and becomes the Fremont Street we all know and love down there. Blue Angel Motel, you see the statue there too. This is Eastern Avenue, a major north-south artery we're gonna come up here and try to make a left turn onto. And uh, I'm not sure if we'll make it on the first cycle or not. You got Dulceria, Jockpot, Maxi Mart Liquor, Boutique Flower Shop, One Stop Appliances, Jacinto Insurance, Diana's Tax, Photo e Video, Miss 15 Boutique and Photo, Quinceanera, and some other stores there. And 
going to be able to make it. That was a very short yellow light. Hubcaps and wheels there on the corner as well. And got someone out there offering car wash services on the corner. These are uh, all former homes that look like they've become businesses of some sort here now lining Eastern Avenue. This Eastern runs all the way from just north of Craig Road, North Las Vegas, where it ends unceremoniously into a uh, warehousing district, all the way down south to uh, Henderson and uh, the Anthem, Anthem area there in Henderson. And so it's a major artery here in town. Oki, now passing the light at Oki. We have some video of our time on Oki out west of uh, Interstate 15. Feel free to check that out in our video, video library. A lot of taxes and affordable taxes and notary public and more taxes. La uh, lashes and nails over here on the left side. Grupo de Alcoholics Anonimo Anonymous. Another Toro taxes over here on the left. And uh, looks like some folks have taken up residence here. Behind the uh, tax place. Here at the corner of St. Louis and Eastern. And there's some uh, auto dealerships up here that run uh, just, that are all located on Sahara, which is like, I think it's the next light up here. And uh, so when you go on test drives at those dealerships, they often run you up and down St. Louis here for your test drive. Which kind of, I don't know, I want to be able to get out on the highway myself, open it up, see how the car does. Not want to be running around residential streets. Although I guess that's good for braking, testing the braking at least. We got a health centers over there. You got a Jake's bar on the left here. Try our $4 menu, 24 seven. Video poker, another video poker haul, if you will. And a 7-Eleven, another one over here on our left. We will uh, take a look at the shopping center over here. We got Vape Pirates next to the 7-Eleven and a Burger King. Taxes and insurance, lots of taxes over here. El Pollo Loco over there on the right. Title Max. Wait our turn here at Sahara, a major east-west artery here in town. Finally got the light here at Sahara. Sahara runs all the way from the far east end of town, the foothills of Frenchman's Mountain, all the way out west past the 215 Beltway, and then it, uh, I believe it curves northbound and uh, enters Summerlin, the area out there known as Summerlin. As we continue southbound here on Eastern, approaching Karen. We have a school zone here, and again, I hate say it, sounding like one of those old fogies, right? Runs around where when I had my old day, blah blah blah. But a school zone in such a major thoroughfare, I don't know. Just bat asking for trouble, I think, in my humble opinion, especially in this town, people just do not drive very well at all. Looks like a uh, security vehicle of some sort up there on the left. Speed limit of 15 here in the school zone. I think this is uh, home of the Vikings over here on our right. I'm not sure what, uh, it's a, it looks like a high school, but I'm not sure which one. Transit security, okay, so they are here with the broken down bus, it appears. This is Vegas Valley Drive, which is almost a uh, major north, I'm sorry, east-west artery, but it uh, ends, or, or it gets broken up quite a bit in quite a few areas here in town, so it's hard to use it as a true east-west artery from the east, and, east to west end of town. I'm gonna go ahead and get around this little Honda. Palora Avenue. You see the homes lining Eastern here on the west side of Eastern. And we've got a garbage truck. And another 7-Eleven. Shout out 7-Eleven, man, wherever you are. 
Actually, I know we are, but I'm not going to tell anyone. Because we don't do that. This is uh, $3.99 a gallon for the cash price. Another broken down bus. Wow, we've got a few of them out here. That one's being towed. We'll wait our turn here at Desert Inn. And we got the green light here at Desert Inn, so we're going to continue pushing southbound here on Eastern. More taxes. So you see the sign there on the right says, Entering the Town of Paradise. I believe it's unincorporated. It's not an actual city. It's just kind of like a loosely organized area. Speed limit jumps up to 45 in this area. This is all looking mostly residential, although there are some, looks like some doctor's offices in here as well. Way below way. Now crossing. Temperature outside reads 97 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's about 37 degrees Celsius, I believe. We're going to come up here to the next intersection here at Tioga Way, and we're going to make a right on the Tioga. And there's a golf course back here. Looks like the grass is browning just a little bit back there. So this is one of the little quiet neighborhoods located here in the urban core, really, off of uh, what is really Eastern and Flamingo, which is just south of here, Flamingo Road. Very uh, mature, well-established neighborhood here. Probably been here for, uh, I want to say, probably since the 60s. Someone's watering their lawn during the daytime. That's a no-no. <laughs> uh, all the rules with the watering of the lawns. They really want us to get rid of our lawns, period. End of story. It's just sad. This is going to bring us up here to Cochise Lane. And there's a reason I'm bringing us here. If you happen to be a movie buff, as I wait for that van to turn, if you happen to be a movie buff, this house in front of us here at the uh, end of the cul-de-sac may be of some interest to you. This house, that's the golf course there, this house is the one that was Sam Rothstein's in the movie Casino. It was Robert De Niro's character. This was the house used in that movie. So I uh, wanted to show you this. Uh, of course, I'm not gonna trespass or go up there on their property or anything like that, but uh, definitely wanted to highlight it to you. Here on the golf course. Very cool stuff. you also very very much for joining us we really appreciate each and every single one of you again we would not be here without you and that's a fact please do like follow and subscribe to us on youtube and tiktok if you haven't already it helps recommend us to other viewers on youtube and tiktok and it also helps the algorithm suggest you uh suggest the video the video for you um and that's what carries the weight of your voice is the algorithm so uh please let the algorithm know that you like this video if indeed you did and check out the shop section of our shop section of our YouTube channel. We've got these Vegas Don shirts, the Vegas Don logo on top of the Las Vegas Strip skyline available for you. We've got Christmas coming up, so maybe something for yourself or your significant other. And as always, remember here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. We'll see you next time, folks. Thanks for being here.